Hey guys, this is Peas here, and today I will be showing you how to access the unused stages in Super Monkey Ball Touch and Roll. Um, after my showcasing video of Labyrinth, the un unused Monkey Ball 1 stage, uh, back in February, I decided to create a tutorial so that people can try this on their own uh, during their spare time like I did with mine. Uh, I got the idea from some... I forgot the YouTuber's name, but he... Uh, was able to play on the unused monkey wars and monkey golf stages like hold up like these yeah also uh, I'm gonna be using this site as a reference for these stages alright so enough of my little inspiration I'm going to tell you the steps well that sounded bad as an introduction sorry <laughs> anyway first you're gonna need a DS emulator uh, your touch and roll ROM and crystal tile 2 the Crystal Tile 2 is basically like a DS version of Wii Scrubber. If you don't know what, if you don't know what Wii Scrubber is, uh, it's basically um, you can access and like um, export any um, files from the game itself. Pretty neat tool, especially for uh, game hacking, all that jazz. Alright, so I, I will provide Crystal Tile 2 in the description and you can have in your own DS emulator uh, preference. I prefer um, DSU because it works best for my computer. Anyway, so after you have all this, you need to open up your uh, Crystal Tile 2 and open up your DS ROM, which I've already done here for the sake of time. Next, you need to go to Tools and NDS File System, which is already open here, but I but it was minimized. Don't know why. Now this is Touch and Roll's file system. That's a lot. I mean, a lot. Um, pay attention to the extensions, as you'll see later on. So it's kind of quite straightforward. Pay attention to the file systems. All right. So um, I replay in my showcase. I replaced um, the first stage of Touch and Roll with Labyrinth, such as this, and um, like. I haven't said this already. I'm going to be using this as a reference for these stages. Yes, I yeah, I've said that. Sorry. Um, next, you're going to need to find the original stage itself. And when I say original stage, these file names correspond to um, its original appearance. So, uh, for example, Labyrinth came from uh, Monkey Ball 1 Advance 25. So... Uh, I keep saying so, my bad. <laughs> um, you'll need to ex export these two to a separate file. I'm going to go to, this is where I exported my crap. I'm going to make a folder here. I don't care if I misspelled it. <laughs> um, here, and then, yes, you need to export these two. And then, after you export the model, Models, you need to scroll all the way down to stage Cully, which happens to be the game's col the stage's collision. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you were, if you like start going brain dead and replacing stages all over, you're not gonna have the right collision with the stage itself. So yeah. Oops. I uh, don't know what happened there. I kind of replaced the wrong stage. Let me go back up to model, and you can. You can use the. You can actually just go through and find it with Control F, but I'm too lazy. All right, I need to replace it with this. I already did it with that. No, it's the other one. My bad. There we go. All right. After after you've exported the stage that you wish to replace, uh, scroll up. To, no, at yeah. Scroll up to. Um. Here we go. Yeah. Um, elementary is beginner one and also the first stage of touch and roll it's more convenient to even click practice mode and that stuff that way um, after that go to import and then yeah click on the stage that corresponds and I don't know why it does that wait um oh yeah I forgot you need to actually type in the full data extension because I, cause I don't know. oh well Wait, why does it does that? Oh, my bad. Click no. Uh, 
yeah, it's quite cumbersome after a while, but you'll get used to it. I haven't done this in a while. Um, yeah. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> Alright, so all I'm doing here is just replacing it with the proper stage hex, or no stage address, and then go down to the stage collision, where, where's the, um, SD Kali? SD Kali 1. And yeah, right here. Then you replace it with this. Then you will type the correct address. There you go. No. And always always click no whenever you're replacing. All right, after that's done, close that and then save it. Yeah, well, crap, oops. <laughs> I meant that was a big mistake right there. Click save as, not the actual save itself. Because otherwise, it's permanent. <laughs> Rip me. Alright. Um, I have to download the whole DS ROM, but it's all good. Man, it's all good. Um, all you need to do here is just open up the game's ROM and, yeah, magic. So let's just go here, open that stuff. Da -da 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 -da. Got a practice mode. Click I I. Go to here, and elementary, and there you go. So thank you guys for watching this. Let's see if I can make a shortcut. Oh yeah, <laughs> first try. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this Nito tutorial. And yes, you can save replays here, and it'll be the same thing. And yeah, I hope you guys have fun um, replacing stages on your own. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me just complete this and I'll end it off because you can't defeat me like that. Stay tuned for more videos and what the heck? What the heck? Why? Why? Oh well, I'll just, uh. Whee! <laughs> what a way to end a video. Uh, see you guys around. Peace out.